Where's the headband? <laughs> When I'm working out, I definitely wear it. Hair's getting a little long, too long to, to not. Any other particular reason why? Just kind of trying to go? Yeah, I needed something new. Had that same haircut for a while. Decided to change it up. We'll see how it goes. Well, well, what, what, have you, what have you done since the end of last season and now? I mean, what have you kind of spent your time doing in the offseason? You know, just like any year, you build your body back up, find strength where there were weaknesses, and and then you, you start throwing as you get to closer to, to this time of year. So we've been throwing for a couple of weeks. And, and you're finding where you, where you can improve and you know, find little things every year that uh, you think can help you win. When you reflected on it, just how did you feel like you were as a quarterback last season and when you thought about like the, the steps you took and the ways you evolved? Yeah, I think you know I had my best year last year. I think I've improved every year. And still a lot of room to grow. Um, there's always room to improve every 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 off season, every game, every week. You just try to find a, a way to get better every year. Is there something particular about your game that you like the most? Any specific aspect of it that you were really proud of looking back? I think I just became more aware of situational football, aware of you know when I could take a sack, when I can't, find finding the back when maybe I can make a play in, in a certain moment when in a, a different part of the game I would not try to make that play. And I think I took strides there, and I think there are more strides to take in that area. Have you received any, any feedback from quarterbacks this offseason who are maybe done playing? Do you go to that well for knowledge or reflection on your play? Um, not too much, but it's, it's always welcome whenever it does happen. I wouldn't say I, I seek it out, but you know, there's certain guys that are, are out of the league now and have – played a lot of football and understand the game and can help guys out. And when, when, when they do reach out and give you a nugget here or there, you, you listen and you welcome it. Physically, are you back to where you were last year pre-surgery? Are you ahead of that? I would say right now I'm, I'm ahead of that. You know, I'm feeling really good, feel strong, feel stable, feel grounded, uh, excited about how my body's feeling. You know, this is a knock on wood thing, but I mean, to have a full, healthy... Yeah, we said that last year, too, yeah, man. We said that last what, year. What could that mean for you? Is that something that is, is kind of a box you really want to check that could, could do something for you? Yeah, I mean, have, having a full full off season and a full training camp is so beneficial in so many ways, and it's just not really something that I, I've had yet. So I'm excited to to hopefully have that this year and be able to, to make those strides in camp, whereas last year I was just trying to to get back to where I was pre-camp. Um, and so I'm excited to you know, find that improvement during those four to six weeks when I haven't really had that yet. Do you have a specific goal in mind, Joe, in terms of like, I mean, the muscle mass you put on and everything? Did you have a goal in mind? Have you achieved it at this point, or are you still working toward it? No, I wouldn't say I had a specific goal. It's always just feeling as good and as strong and as healthy as you can going into the year. And you know, I have a great trainer that you know, really thinks about my body and watches my game and understands what part of my body can get stronger and get more stable. And um, so I'm really, really lucky to have Dak to, my trainer is Dak, really lucky to have him. I've been training with him since I was in high school now. And so he really understands my body and, and what I need to, to do to improve and, and stay at this level. Do you feel like your velocity, your throwing velocity has increased? Yeah, I feel like that's getting, getting better every year. Um, you know, I, I try to improve every area of my game every off season. It's not like I go into an off season and you know there's obviously specific things that you want to work on, but you know as a as a whole, I'm working on every part of my game, every part of my body to just improve it all, and that hopefully will in turn create more consistency and make me a better player. How also has a lot of chatter about kind of your contract situation as you were up for an extension. How involved are you with kind of those talks or, and giving input? And is there a timeline in which you'd like to see that potentially done by? Yeah, we're, you know, I'm involved. That's, you know, it's in the works. That's uh, not really something that I like to play out in, in, in the media. That's something just the way I think they want to do business, I want to do business. We prefer to keep that between us. 
on that note, that is there something that matters to you most with that? Like, because there's a million different ways that these things can be sliced. Is there something that is the main thing that you want that matters to you with this deal? I think there's a lot of different ways it could work out. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Jeff Cogus, are you? You know, these are obviously a lot of you guys in your draft class. Jamar going to be up next year. As you're going through these and kind of giving input, how cognizant are you of being able to kind of keep the core together and being able to allocate that? Um, how much does that make top of mind, if any, as you go through this? Yeah, it's definitely, you know, whenever you have guys on the team that, that need to be paid, that's always on your mind. You want that to, to be a focal point, and so we're, we're working to, to make that happen. Joe, when you look at the last couple of seasons, especially the big games that you've been in, um, when you think forward to this upcoming season, how do those, those, those losses help fuel you and, and just keep that motivational drive towards that ultimate goal for you? Yeah, we, we know what it takes to get there. We've been there, done that, haven't quite gotten over that last hump yet. And so that's, that's where we're, we're headed. Whatever we got to do to make that happen, whether it's, you know, you never know what, what day in off season or what thing you worked on is going to end up helping your guys make that, that last play in that last game to, to get you over that hump. And so you got to stay disciplined and maintain your work ethic through the entire offseason because, you know, like I said, you never know what guy, what opportunity you're going to be put in to, to make that play. How has your offseason, specifically workouts, evolved over the past couple of years? Or have they evolved? Yeah, they do. They, do, they evolve every year. I think I'm, I'm getting the hang of what, my, what I want my offseason to look like, what, what I want my routine to look like, what I want my, my body to feel like going into camp. Uh, just becoming more aware of my training, my body, uh, how, how my arm is feeling, how my, my knees are feeling. Um, you know, we're, we're evolving every year to, to try to make myself better. Was your reaction change anything? Change anything with you, uh, strength regimen at all? I mean, lifting, anything like that? Or oh, running? Or, is there anything um, change? No, not too much. Um, there's, there's little things that we change every year that, um, you know, like I said, I trust my guy to, to make those decisions. And, you know, there's certain things that, you know, I want – to, to work on and get stronger every year too, so I, I make that known and uh, we go from there. What was your reaction to the Orlando Brown signing? Were you surprised that Bengals made such a splash on the offensive line after spending so much last year? Yeah, it was exciting. You know, he's been everything you could you could hope for so far. He's a a, a great locker room guy, big, strong, athletic. Um, th things are going great. Love love that guy. So I'm excited to get out there and play with him. What about your foundation? I know with uh, snap benefits going back to pre pre-demic pre-pandemic um, levels, have you guys seen more of a need as far as people with food insecurity? Yeah, I think, you know, that's a, obviously a big focus of, of the foundation and then also, you know, mental health and then also, you know, just, just broad things that we think we could help with, whether it's, you know, medical bills or, or scholarships or whatever it may be to, to help people. I think um, we have our, our main focuses and then uh, things that, also, uh, at our discretion, we think could could help people. Are there is there more of a need right now than you think before, like during the pandemic? Um, I don't know if if I would say more of a need. I think there's always a need in in different parts of the country to to help those kinds of people that that need it. Um, but those are those are always things that are on our mind. Last year was a big year for you off the field. Your foundation, different partnerships, all that kind of stuff. Like, what did you learn last year as you kind of? took more steps into, you know, getting more things going on off the field. Yeah, just getting more comfortable with the routine of the NFL and, you know, where I can find time to, to do that kind of stuff. Um, you know, as you get older, you, you start to have a little more free time. You know what your routine is going to be. You know what the off season is going to look like. You know what the season is going to look like. You know what points of the off season you really need to lock in on your training and, and what parts you maybe have a little more off time and you can go do things that, that you enjoy doing. A while earlier, you said you never know what day is going to make a difference later in the season. Any examples along those lines where some random OTA practice or something, you really noticed that it had an impact? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you rep these, these routes and you rep these things in individual, whether it's a, a certain off schedule play or, or throw or an arm slot or a pocket movement that you got. And like I said, you never know when it's going to come up during a game. And when you know, the defensive linemen win in certain ways and your body's in a different way and your it just every play is unique and so you really have to have your uh, an imagination in your training in the off season to to prepare yourselves for those moments because you know you can take a three-step drop and throw the throw the out route on time every time 
but that's not that's not reality in the in the NFL. You're going to have to have some imagination in the off season by yourself with your guys on air to to make those reps count. Obviously, the Orlando Brown signing was exciting, like you mentioned, but it meant a position change potentially for Jonah Williams. I'm sure you've talked to him. What are those conversations been like, and, and, and how has that been talked about? Yeah, you know, we love Jonah. Jonah's been a big part of our success for the last couple of years, and so, you know, hopefully we we have him back. But, you know, business is business, and you know whatever Jonah thinks is best for his career is what what he's going to do, and we'll we'll support him in, in whatever he decides. What can Irv Smith bring to the table this year? You know, Irv's, Irv's first of all, he's upstairs all day every day learning the offense, watching tape with 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 James, and so that's exciting to hear, um, and he's. Looking smooth, big, strong, athletic, smooth hands. So we're excited to have that guy. What did you think when they added Charlie Jones and uh, Chase Brown? How, how have they kind of looked in practice so far? Yeah, I, th I think I thought all the the guys we've signed on offense that are rookies have have looked really good so far. Uh, there haven't really been any major busts as far as running the wrong route or anything like that. Um, and so that's the first step: learn the offense, and then you know as they start to do that, they're gonna start to play faster and. More, more sure of themselves, but they've looked very smooth so far, catching the ball, running the ball, have a good feel for it. Being in your fourth year, is it kind of different working with guys who are coming out of college, joining the offense, like kind of teaching them in some ways? Is it different versus the first couple of years where you run the offense? No, I've, I wouldn't say it's different. I would say this, this is kind of the first year that I haven't really really known anybody coming out in the draft. So you're, you're, you're meeting a lot of new people and a lot of new faces on the first day that you, know, you, you weren't really sure of. but. Uh, everyone has fit, fit right in, and, and they're going to continue to to find their place on the team. Coach Taylor has talked a lot about the continuation of this staff. What was your reaction knowing that you have Dan back, you have Brian back, despite them being in a lot of talks with other teams? Yeah, that was big for us. You know, those both those guys are have played an integral role in in what we're doing here, and have helped me throughout the week, given me you know knowledge and nuggets, and and on game day as well. So, you know, when when you have so much carryover in your staff, it makes life on, on me a lot easier. Being tied with Josh, do you, have you talked to him at all, knowing that he went through the contract stuff and all that as he kind of went through that offseason? How much do you pick his brain about kind of how that was like and what he was like during the process? No, I haven't, haven't really talked to him about it. I'm, you know, I'm pretty clear on, on what I want and, and in the contract and, and what you know, I think is best for, for myself and the team. And so, you know, we're we're on the road to making that happen. Is, is having is kind of the way that the T and Jamar came up big in that AFC title game when you needed them? Is that an example of kind of why you kind of keep maybe those guys top of mind as you go through all this? Yeah, you got to have good players. You know, you can't. You see, I mean, it doesn't matter how good good your quarterback is if you don't have good players around them. You're not going to be a very good team. Is that a, a change in the quarterback room? You have a good quarterback room for your career. A little bit of a change now. What's your reaction to uh, the uh, the addition and, and, and moving on of others? Yeah, you know, Trevor's fit right in into the the culture that we've built in that room. So, you know, that's always that's always the one part that you're not sure of when the, when there's a change. You know, you get used to the culture and interacting in that room, and um, you know, he's fit right in. So that's been great. This uh, at the start of OTAs last year, you said you're expecting more cover two, and you're going to have to be better in all the situations, and that's exactly what happened over the course of the season. You have a hunch on a. Like yeah, I don't know this year. We'll see. I think, you know, we, we started to get, you know, teams were playing us so differently every week. We're just going to have to be great at adapting um, like we have been. And, you know, we got the great, great coaching staff up there that has been through it that, you know, understands those adjustments. And now, now we have reps under our belt as far as, you know, players wise, you know, maybe if we see something on the field, we can come off and, and vocalize that a little a little faster now that we have more reps under our belt. What was the uh, reaction like? It's kind of not football related, but going viral after the outside yes. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I was happy I was there. That was fun. What's that What's that vibe like when you're in there? It's, you know, it's a big event. There's a lot of other people. Sam was there with you. What's that feeling like when you're at a fight? It's, it's different from, from football and basketball and all. I guess I haven't been to a basketball game in a while, but, you know, you're right up close to the action, and it's life or death in there, so it's – you know, it's a, a a different vibe for sure. It's a lot of fun to go to. Do you take any training? Do you do, do you do you do you implement any of that stuff in your training? No, no. Can't have any broken hands out there. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, when you look at the, the potential of this team, obviously a lot of new faces. And, you know, does it feel like you've had these four, these three seasons under your belt? Does it, does it feel like you're going into year four? And, and yeah, I'm feeling really comfortable, but 
you know, like you said, whenever you have a lot of new faces, you do have to kind of find what your culture is going to be like as a locker room. You know, you have a lot of new faces in there, a lot of new rookies, you know, a lot of new faces on defense. So you have to, to build that culture from the ground up. And that's what this this time right now is, is all about, just getting around the guys, you know, getting to know them, getting to know who they are as people, who they are as players, and, and finding their place on the team and, and building that culture. Can you confirm or deny that you tried UFC moves on Jamar? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, we, we mess around every now and then. <laughs> Dave Lapham here, and every day I am grateful for my experience to have played professional football. As a player, I realize self-motivation, leadership, and appreciating your teammates are key. At First Star Logistics, you can use those same attributes to create the life you want for you and your family. Build your future by working hard like I did. You'll see results both on and off the field. Call First Star Logistics today and be part of our winning team. Tina King!